What up folks, welcome back to Ultra Zilla Toys and today I have a review of the WWE Elite Collection Flashback Andre the Giant. It's a bit later than normal for my Ultra Zilla Toys main event series. If you don't know what that is, this is um, a review time slot where I'll review a wrestling figure a la Saturday, Saturday Night's Main Event. Um, tonight I have the Andre the Giant figure, the flashback figure, and it's a pretty nice figure. This, uh, this ring attire is circa 1980. Um... And uh, it's pretty cool. I think it's like August 1980, something like that. It's got like some, you know, this kind of like poncho, not really poncho, but like kind of vest with all these tassels, kind of prairie cowboy esque Andre the Giant. I'm going to adjust my lighting just a bit there. And it's, it's kind of neat, you know, like I vaguely recall him wearing this it could have been on an old like wwe cassette that i watched way back when um i mean i was like five when he wore this i guess um but uh yeah you know i do vaguely recall it from something a best of or or something definitely recall his hair being like that so let's bring him in this is actually pretty good i think the face sculpt is very nice maybe a little bit cartoony but i think it works out really well um you know i do i did find out like that uh these wwe elites are starting to use the digital technology and i but i don't exactly know when they started it um i could go either way with this one it could be or it could not because it's got a little cartoony but it strikes all the right you know tones of andre um, pretty cool. It definitely reminds me of being a kid for sure. Um, you know, me and a lot of my friends were into wrestling and we would definitely watch a lot of like old, you know, best ofs and stuff. So a lot of tapes, lots of, uh, checking out some of the older wrestling. And, you know, this is also what, you know, Ultra Zilla Toys main events about. Uh, it's about talking about a little bit about wrestling as we go. Um, and I wanted to do Andrea this week um, because I don't really have that many, like, like a ton of wrestling figures. But, you know, like, this week I got to see Wrestle Kingdom, which has nothing to do with Andre. Um... <laughs> But there's something nostalgic about watching Wrestle Kingdom. That's New Japan Pro's uh, kind of WrestleMania. It's the first time I ever watched a full New Japan event. It's pretty awesome. Um, but it made me feel like a kid. And I figured the only figure I have that will really make me feel like a kid is this Andre figure that I recently got. Uh, and I got him on Amazon on a, a massive price drop. And which is what I'm trying to do with all the wrestling figures I do acquire. Um... I really love wrestling, and I do want to get more and more figures, but I'm trying hard to get them, like, this is the one line, as well as, like, the figure art stuff, um, and other stuff, like, I'm just trying to get them at deals, you know? It's not a line I'm, you know, or branding or anything that I'm trying to be first on in anything, I just, I like them, I want to get some here and there. But I think the best way to go is, like, on deals. So, but yeah, pretty awesome. I think this was, like, 12 bucks or so. Um, I could deal with that because he's huge. This is such a huge figure. But, yeah, watching Wrestle Kingdom definitely reminded me of my youth and the feeling I got when I first saw a lot of uh, these events. And, you know, um, it's, it was the first time, so it was kind of neat. Uh, if you watched Wrestle Kingdom, let me know your thoughts on the show. I'm not going to spoil anything here if you haven't seen it yet. But if you want to talk about it in the comments, spoilers are allowed in the comments. I will say that. So be tread carefully. Um, if you do put a spoiler, you know what? Write spoiler, okay? So I don't mind spoilers, obviously, because I do want to discuss a little bit if you want to. But please add spoilers to your comments, okay? 
and then we will discuss. But yeah, let's look at the figure a little more. We looked at the head, and that was really pretty cool. Um, to look at it further, the teeth look good. You know, and the eyes and the eyebrows all look good. The hair sculpted really nicely. Just done in black. No shading or anything, but it looks good. The jacket is just done in this kind of like beige-ish brown. Let's get more light right there. And then, um, so that looks pretty cool. And it can come off, uh, so let's do that so we can take a look at the, the rest of Andre's bod here. Um, so, you know, he, was, you know, he wasn't he was like the super, super big Andre that um, came on later with like WrestleMania 3 and all, like when he became a bad guy and such. But he's still imposing, still huge, but he moved a little better at this point. Um, this is pretty nice if you want to look at it further. It's got some nice like folds in it. The tassels look all right. So not bad, not bad. Body wise, it's, you know, it's different from some of the other figures, which is nice. Uh, it looks okay. I mean, I wish these elite figures would, you know, have a little more more shading on them. I think that would be very cool if they did that. Um, and definitely would bring them up. But I mean, already if they're bringing on the, the face scanning technology, that's pretty awesome in on itself because I mean, for $20 figures, um, that's pretty awesome, especially since they're big figures. So you're definitely getting your money's worth, I think, with them. You know, he's got a, you know this nice blue uh, trunks that's you know clean and his boots are clean red and thing you know with uh, some white laces they're okay they're done all right maybe a, a little another color of white would have been good but it works so not bad I really do think these elites are, are amongst uh, Mattel's better better figures you know there's there's no doubt about it all right, so let's take a look at the articulation. The head's on a ball joint. So you get some good range of movement. Hinge swivel at the shoulder. Upper bicep rotation. Single jointed elbow. Hinge swivel at the wrist. You got the ab crunch there. Doesn't really crunch, ab movement. <laughs> Swivel at the waist, ball jointed hips, kicks forward, doesn't really kick back, thigh cut, double jointed knee, boot cut, and a hinge, ooh, very tight on this side. There we go. Hinge there. No real rocker, but you get the hinge. So, decent, very decent. Yeah, I, th I, th I think these figures are cool. Uh, you know, I like them more and more as I go. <laughs> For sure. And I think I guess I came in at the right time since they're starting to do that. Digital face technology. I think that's cool. All right, I'll just take this away because uh, he doesn't need it right now. Although he will have it on, on my shelf. So, big guy. Looks pretty good for sure. You know, Andre was always... Uh, a sight to behold, you know. A definitely uh, uh, this a special attraction, you know. I mean, I loved him in the like in like battle royals, you know, and obviously the the WrestleMania three match and that whole thing was just so iconic with Hogan, crazy cool. So, but there you go. There's Andre. Let's uh, do some size comparisons. The only wrestling figure I have here is a uh, figure arts uh, Undertaker. This guy was a, a, a candidate to be reviewed today, but I don't have the box around here right now. So, you know, and it's late. And so I wanted to just get one, bang one out of the way. Running late. Here's uh, a, you know, the, the Gold Ranger here, the Zeo Gold Ranger, which I just reviewed as well. And uh, as you can see how big Andre is, and you know, as you know, the Power Rangers legacy figures are very tall figures. That guy is huge. 
Hey, here's the uh, Legacy Tiger Zord. If you want to see how big that is. And let's do just another Mattel figure here. We got DC Multiverse. That stings fall off my desk. Duke Thomas. So there you go. There's Andre. That's all I got for this review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts on Andre, on Wrestle Kingdom, on anything you want in the wrestling world. And uh, that's it. Hope you like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, peace out, peeps.